Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, I want to show you how you can combine two beams together. So let's imagine that you already have Endurance Laser, let's say 10 watt Deluxe or 10 watt uh, Invincible or Chinese uh, non-branded uh, laser. So now we are going to show you how you can combine two beams together using these polarizing beam splitter. So this beam splitter is actually an essential part of this installation. So the, the re, there are two uh, prisms that are glued together and it allows one beam to go straight with one polarizing vector and the second beam will be uh, going under 90 degree angle. We have different uh, mounting uh, plates and uh, mounting parts that you would need. They, these are all 3D printed and they are on our Thingiverse, uh, uh, on our Thingiverse page, so you can print them out yourself. Uh, it'll take about one a day to print them out. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we need to remove this uh, coverage from our wires and then we need to remove them actually to unsolder everything except a uh, thermometer wire. Okay, so you see that we cut it. Okay, so you see that we have two pair of uh, red and black wires, uh, one uh, for fan uh, and also for laser diode. So now we need to remove it. Um, and then we need to unsolder. Okay, so they are removed. Now we will unsolder them. So you see that's quite easy. Okay, so now we need to remove the fan. So it shouldn't be difficult. Okay, now we need to unscrew the heatsink so that we will be able to remove our heatsink. Okay, so now you see that we remove the heatsink. So it's quite easy. And we remove the thermometer uh, probe. Okay, so we no longer need this. I mean, uh, aluminum housing. Okay. Okay, now we need to add thermo shrink into our wires. Okay, now we need to solder back our wires. Do not miss polarity. It is very, very important. Okay, soldering process. Okay, so everything is soldered and we added a thermo shrink and now we use heater. Okay, it's done. 
Okay, right now we're going to check a uh, laser orientation. So uh, as I showed in my previous video, you have laser beam splitter or laser beam combiner that uh, works like this. So you have a cube and we have um, it's, uh, uh, we have uh, a cube made out of two prisms and the two beams they go like one goes from here and it reflects and uh, the second one goes he from from here so we have s polarization and p so it means that one laser has to be oriented vertically so it means that the beam shape goes like this uh, from uh, this direction for example and from this direction it should go like this so this means that they have different polarizing vectors so once you remove the lens because you don't need you just need to see the exact uh, direction of the laser beam and um, some some dark material you can use painted aluminum or anodized aluminum also we need to unscrew a little bit uh, this M3 screws just to make sure that we can rotate the laser diode once we check the laser beam orientation okay we turn the off on minimum power so you see that uh, the laser uh, this model has uh, orientation not perfectly horizontal so we need to make it horizontal because uh, the second one will be vertical so we can actually add a lens because with lens it's much easier to rotate uh, once again operate in uh, low power okay so Pavel is now rotating it So from this perspective, you can see that the laser beam oriented perfectly in horizontal position. Okay, now we need to fasten screws tightly just to make sure that the laser diode will not be rotated. Okay, so now we need to, to set up our fan into new construction so that's that is easy so fasten it uh, on top okay so now we need to add our fan into the heatsink Okay, it's ready. So if you have 10 watt, so let's see that we have 10 watt invincible and we have deluxe for, for 10 watt, you need to do the same, but make the laser beam position in, uh, not in vertical, but in horizontal. Uh, sorry, not, not uh, yeah, that, that is uh, vertical, this is horizontal. So one should be in vertical, uh, horizontal, one in vertical. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so we take this uh, part and we need to screw it to the heatsink. We, we use M6 um, screw over here. Okay, and we need to do the same with a second laser. Okay, we take M4 uh, screws and we need to to hook it into this position. Okay, now we need to add both lasers into our final, final mount. We use M4 screws over here. So. 
and we do the same thing for a second laser. Okay, so now we have a special uh, connector that uh, you need to to add to this construction. And also we have our polarizing prism. So we screw it into this position. And we add our polarizing beam splitter. Okay, we need to find out the proper orientation. And we need to fix it. Okay, right now here we need to fix the position of both lasers on the same range because it's very important that they are both focused in the same spot so okay power will show so for example we we see that it's over there and we fix it with our m6 screw the same thing has to be done with the, the second laser Okay, the next step is not uh, too difficult, but uh, will require some patience that we need to set up a line, actually two beams together. So in other words, that one beam should be going through the second one. We made it uh, like this small installation, like this. But you can put it on your CNC router or somewhere on your own mechanism. Shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, okay, we added our lifting table for focusing. And now we regulate the position of uh, this laser. So it's more important to fix it because then we'll regulate the second one. So this is our regulation. So everything looks good, almost. Okay, now we need to check up focus. So you can hear this noise. And for a second laser, we will need to change the position of the, of the lens. Just we need to set up proper focus. Yeah, for this version you need to set up focus and align two beams together. So that would require some of your patience and readiness for a real but doable challenge. So okay, we are turning on two lasers and we need to align two beams together. So always operate in goggles red or green so now you can see it easily and yeah, that what was hit <laughs> by the laser so it's very very important so now you see that we will align the second beam it's not that difficult but like i said would require some patience this here is what we do we regulate from upper position. Okay, so now we need to do one small thing. We need to move prism upper because this uh, laser, we, we cannot move it uh, to another position. We cannot move it closer because then it'll be out of prism. So we actually remove prism a little bit and let's see how it will be working now. So now we're aligning two beams together and let's see what we see. And zoom. So it's almost, almost one beam in one beam. Almost did it. So, 
almost hit it. We use three element lens here because it's much easier to work and to focus and it has a pretty good focal depth. Focal depth is about one centimeter. So it allows you to remain in focus. Okay, looks good. Okay, so now I can gladly tell you that both lasers are perfectly aligned and uh, you see that it's one spot so it's very very accurate and the laser the combined DIY 15 watt laser is ready so that was our uh, video showing how you can combine and use two endurance lasers and upgrade it to your own 15 watt DIY uh, laser single well dual beam laser system and uh, it'll be very effective for laser cutting and laser engraving you can learn more about endurance uh, 15 watt duos version 1.1 but this one you can upgrade uh, yourself so if you're interested let me know email me gf at endurance or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four zero two and you are welcome to explore our website endurance lasers.com and visit our online store endurance-lasers.com so hope that you like this video and have a wonderful experience with combining two diode lasers together bye bye